One of the greatest health problems in the world, especially in industrialized nations, is coronary artery disease. The coronary arteries are the arteries around the outside of the heart. These arteries bring blood to the heart muscle, also known as myocardium. Coronary artery disease brings a narrowing of the coronary arteries. Such narrowing often results in chest, neck, and arm pain, also known as angina pectoris, precipitated by exertion. When arteries block off completely, or occlude, a portion of the heart muscle is deprived of its blood supply, with life-giving oxygen and nutrients. A myocardial infarction, or heart attack, is the death of a portion of the heart muscle. As the coronary arteries narrow, the body often compensates by building collateral circulation, circulation that involves branches from existing coronary arteries that develop to bring blood to an area of restricted blood flow. The internal mammary arteries are arteries that bring blood to the chest. The tributaries of the internal mammary arteries develop collateral circulation to the coronary arteries. It was thus reasoned that by tying off or ligating the internal mammary arteries, a larger blood supply would be forced to the heart. An operation called internal mammary artery ligation was developed to implement this procedure. Early results of the operation were most promising. On 1959, reported on 304 patients who underwent internal mammary artery ligation, the results showed that 94.8% of the patients showed improvement. 4.9% reported no appreciable change. It would seem that the surgery gave great improvement. Still, the possibility remained that the improvement resulted from a placebo effect. A placebo effect is a change, or perceived change, resulting from the psychological benefits of having undergone treatment. It is well known that inert tablets will cure a substantial portion of headaches and stomach aches and afford pain relief. The placebo effect of surgery might be even more substantial. Therefore, two studies of internal mammary artery ligation were performed using a sham operation as a control. Both studies were double-blind, which means that neither the patients nor physicians evaluating the effect of surgery knew whether the ligation had taken place. In each study, Incisions were made in the patient's chest and the internal mammary arteries exposed. In the sham operation, nothing further was done. For the other patients, the arteries were ligated. Both studies selected patients by random assignment. Both papers concluded that it is unlikely that the internal mammary artery ligation has benefit beyond the placebo effect in the treatment of coronary artery disease. Note that 86% of those receiving the sham operation reported improvement in the two studies. These studies point to the need for appropriate comparison groups when making scientific inferences.